Hey everyone, welcome back to our Baldur's Gate 3 playthrough. We're on our solo playthrough uh, with our character Melisandre, the tiefling uh, warlock. Sorry, my brain's apparently not working. I appreciate you guys for joining in with us as we continue playing through. We were, looks like we left off near the uh, Animantine Forge. <clears throat> All right, let's see here. Making me sweat. Yeah. Where the heck did that come from? What the shit? This is my happy place. my step. Pushing on. This must 
be the forge. What a feat of engineering it is. <clears throat> Was erupting. Better watch my step. We're gonna wait until the elemental passes first <clears throat> before we try to jump down there, just in case. I don't want Gale getting his like little ass handed to him. No, we don't want to put that down. Oh, 
Oh, well, that was dumb of me. Okay. Okay. My magic. Is that blood? No, never mind. <clears throat> All right then. I think there was technically a body under there to you, though. Oh well. Guess it's not gonna be I'm important. Exhausted. Better find some way to camp soon. Doggos are yelling. One second. Let me see what's going on with him. Alright, sorry about that. The amulet is heavy, but holds a subtle warmth, like it was left under the sun. Suddenly, the metal surges with heat. You feel great power and an overwhelming urge to laugh. <sighs> Can thou endure? Why not? We'll laugh. Walking machines. Walking brains. It's all so absurd. <laughs> How unfortunate. Alas, thou must do. <laughs> Return me, take me home, and thou shalt grow with blessings. To my granddaughter, Shira Clarwin, serves Ilmata Shida. She waits in Worms Crossing. Take me there, and thou shalt bathe in her golden gifts. Oh, thou shalt be blessed indeed. <laughs> A ghost? <laughs> I am sunlight on water, dew on grass. Sharon's broke my body, but my spirit they could not. Well, not completely. <laughs> Thou shalt return me home! It is written! That thing's tainted. Better to leave it than bear a dead man's grudges. I like the detail. Like, we're all hot because we're by lava and everyone's faces are all sweaty. It's crazy. I shall walk with thee. I shall grant you my power. <laughs> you feel a chuckle coming on. 
but it soon fades. I don't remember anything crazy being out here. So we're not gonna worry about it for now. We may come back later, but not now. Can't slow down. pieces do we have? We already have all the pieces. Holy shiitake. One second here. says gains the swift hitter equipped item gains uh, okay So I'm not proficient with it. Uh, do, 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 do. Can you see proficiencies? She's proficient with light and medium armor. So we could get her medium armor. And then sh she is proficient with heavy armor so we could just get the heavy armor and the medium armor I think is what we'll do but we probably need to hit a long rest because everybody's health is not the greatest okay I think there's an also an item we need to go back and try to get Drop a save. Have a lot on my mind. A 
and boom, in it. Let's have go. Ready. Let's have you go over here. Uh, Shadowheart, to you're gonna come over here. Yeah, who's ripe with magic? Gil's gonna come over here. I'd love to, thanks. Oh, do you not have the mo I I thought you had the iron. Oh no, she has it. Okay. Gotcha. Alright, so we're gonna do scale. have seen everything. He's too far away. Okay, Carla. Let's go. Okay. Allow so now Gale needs to come over here. Close. This is slow, right? I wish there was something I could put there. But I don't think there really is. Gods, it's hot in here. Fuck it, we'll just make sh definitely sure. Do I have sanctuary? I do have sanctuary. Oh, I'm so smart. Maybe he's smarter than I thought. Maybe. 
missed both times. Fuck. Still on my feet. Okay. Get me hit. We're missing. Mess up threat assessment. We'll find out. Talk to me. Are they superheated? They are superheated at the moment. Okay. So Carla. Let's go with fire, baby. Uh. Yep. That's fine. Alright, jump over here. Do your action, do this. Okay. Then Gale. Hit the hammer. Okay. Go back to my cell. Shadow Heart. What is Oh, why would you jump in the lava? Alright, you need to stay there. Blood comes easy these days. Bonus action. I thought I did that. Oh, he saved against it. That's sadness. Oh, 
Oh wait, shit, Shadowheart, no. He is super heated for two turns now, okay. Uh, what's happening? He's figuring out what he wants to do, okay. I'm streaming out. I wonder if this is worth the cost. Creator. Uh, Gail, just do it. that up please Carla get out of the fucking way now <laughs> okay no use it's blocked gonna do splint now. That's the opposite of what we did already, right? Yeah, we got scale mail already. Ooh, JD's playing path. Hey. On it. Oh wait, I need to do this. Shadowheart. Oh, yeah, wrong button. LOL, whoopsies. At least things have stayed interesting. Okay. We're gonna take this medium armor off of her. And we're gonna put this heavy armor on her. Now she's a beefy girl. This counts as heavy armor, so she's literally the only person that can wear it. Man. Hmm. More for me.
So let's put this in the Carlax inventory. Carlax got barbarian clothing on right now. We're gonna take that off. And we're gonna put this. That's heavy armor? I thought that was. Well, I might have fucked myself. Oh, this is medium armor. I got it backwards because I'm I'm a big old dummy dumb. Okay. All right, there we go. Got the squad fitted out. How do we go back up? Be honest with you, buddy. I don't know how we all missed that, but we missed it. Jesus. What is Gale proficient with? Martial weapons, he's got light armor and shields. So Gale could put light armor on if I ever find more light armor.
Ah, sheesh. Let's click, click. Oh, not what I wanted. Control click, control click. There we go. Why can't these stack? Okay, whatever. Alright, group everything by type. There we go. I don't know why I'm so low on stuff. like a good moment to talk the past is nearer than we think we simply must well, let's see what you've got well let's see where you go need to go through and read all the scrolls and stuff like that in my inventory. That's all then. All right, we're gonna try to go into the Shadowlands then. What level are we? A level six, close, well not, not halfway, not even halfway to level seven yet. Looking ahead. Got that double teeth and party. Stick shit. It's skick pick, you piss pot shit. You got one of Nair's moon lanterns, Jog. I ask, because you ain't getting far with a top lands are clogged with the death dark. Choke you in no time. Go on, get some air, but don't go cursing me if that shadow shit snuffs you.
That shadow shit snuffs you. We make it into act two. Let's go. the wrist. We offer ourselves to the darkness that blessed Shah may give us her mercy. We offer our pain to the Lady of Loss, that she may truly know her faithful. Hmm. Creepy. Anyway, we continue. What's in here? Hey, look, it's Elminster again. Who oh, there, wanderer? Stay thy course a moment to indulge an old man. Elminster? The very same, Gale. And a fair bit miffed he is, too, finding himself forced to expose his best pair of boots to so many miles of country road on your behalf. Meet Elminster Ormar, a good friend of mine, but rather more significantly, he's the most famed and respected wizard in the realms. Am I, indeed? Most famed and respected errand boy, more like. I was bid to spare neither time nor my own self to find you. She sent me, Gale. You know of whom I speak. But why? Out with it, Elminster. Please. Young man, has your sojourn away from Waterty washed away your decorum as well as your patience? Nigh a ten day I've gone without honest fare, worthy of the name, drank naught, but what the sky entitled my thirst. Why, some bread, cheese, and a cup of wine would appear unto me a feast. Surely you won't begrudge me a mite of rest and repast before I get out with it. Oh, for the love of... Uh, well, this way then. Hmm. To your camp. Oh, don't dawdle now, lad. You're the one who's in such a frightful hurry. Oh, nigh on 13 centuries old and he still thinks with his stomach. We'd best follow and see if he's more disposed to speak plainly once it's stopped its grumbling. A wise choice. Better to indulge your curiosity than Elminster's appetite. What a delightful wedge of old Anthurium that was. Doesn't do to parlay on an empty stomach, you know. Makes one's words frivolous when they should be grave. Plenty to digest, after all. A good deal to stew over, if you will. Words ladled with import should be savored so as to better absorb their meaning. Wouldn't you agree? Elminster. Right. 
Um, you see, I um, well, that is to say, Gail, my boy, I've come to address a most pressing matter. I'll speak as plainly as I can, forswearing the accustomed frills that decorate my speech. I'm here on behalf of Mistra. The message and the charge I bring you are hers. Thank you for that most considerate reminder. <laughs> you know where you went wrong, Gail. No, we needn't dwell on that here and now. But even so, you're to be given a chance of redemption. Mistral would consider forgiveness. She would consider what she considers to be forgiveness. Mistral is aware of the misadventures that have befallen you both. She knows of your strife with the Absolute, that most insidious of evils. that afflicts you, the ill-begotten magic that it weaves is inextricably conjoined with both the greater purpose and the greater master that it serves. You must know that the absolute is more dangerous than you can possibly conceive. It threatens all who live, even those who are undying. It threatens the gods, the weave, the very fabric of the universe itself. That is why I have come here to charge you, Gail, with its destruction. It is Mistress' belief <coughs> that only you can. The old. Precisely. Mistra has granted me the power to stop the clock, as it were, on the orb's rush to overpower you. Instead, you will be able to unleash its lethal combustion at will. Interesting. This could be help or hindrance. We shall have to see. You must find the heart of the absolute whatever that may be and use yourself as the uh, catalyst that will burn it from this world no indeed but I think she trusts me too. It brings me no pleasure saying this, my friend. But such is Mistra's will. Yours must be the sacrifice that will undo the absolute. And for your sacrifice, you will be redeemed. Such is Mistra's promise. With that, I've said my sorry piece. I need only bestow unto thee the charm I was bid. Maena hastra mistraria Italior Thras Annas It is done. Both charge and charm have been committed into your care. To you, 
I commit into care Gale himself. I count on you to shepherd him well on this strangest of journeys. Or some other fortune altogether. Like moons make swell and wane the nescient seas, so too the sky-strewn gods ordain the tidal fates of mortal days. And yet, a notion born in lonely hours, come ebb, come flow, come all that is beyond the breadth of our dominion. Be a moon unto yourself. Even the waves of fate can break upon the shores of will. Farewell, my friend. Farewell, Elminster. I'm glad she chose you. Hmm. An audience with Elminster is never less than memorable. I'd have hoped to introduce you to him in less dire circumstances. But those are hard to come by these days. The Doddering Act is merely an illusion, one he's most adept at maintaining. Elminster is the most formidable wizard in the realms. Perhaps, in existence. For Mistra to have sent him. The severity of her bidding could not be clearer. Or weigh more heavily on me. Time seems so infinite when you're young. A month is an age. A year is a lifetime. It is a strange feeling. To realize how little of it one might have left. We offer the clearest solution to our problem. All I have to do is find the right place and time, close my eyes, and let go. Then the slate will be clean. Wrongs will be righted, the absolute will be gone, and I along with it. If there was, I'm sure the goddess of magic and the greatest wizard who ever lived would have identified it. But alas, only one solution is offered. That remains ahead of us for now. The heart of the Absolute must be discovered before I can stop its beating. Let's save such certainty for the moment such a decision is upon us. We may feel differently once we know what we're truly up against. Mm, I don't want to let you blow yourself up, bro. bro. Elminster. Even the Githyanki have heard tell of the Sage of Shadowdale. Some of his works have been translated to Tirsu. That doesn't mean his every word carries wisdom, however. Near as I can tell, Mistra demands Gale's faith, but holds no faith in him. Why else would she demand Gale sacrifice himself, and perhaps so many others? Does she not think he can destroy the Absolute with his own immense talents? Does she not know the mighty company that he keeps? Demanding Vlakith may be, but she acts for the good of the Githyanki people. 
Mistress concerned only for herself. Bah. Perhaps he'd find forgiveness in a fiery death. But I can't help but wonder why he'd want it at all. It is over where I am concerned. It is through conflict that we strengthen our bonds. Yet I do not recommend Shadowheart seek it again. The next resolution may not end in her favor. Fair enough. Mark my words. This power would be no blessing, but a curse. You might as well ask me to gouge out my eyes for the promise of sight, or slice off my tongue for the promise of taste. Consume all the gate tadpoles you wish. I'm not so craven. Mm. Gladly. Is House and all with me? Oh, he is. Okay. I was about to say, what the heck, bro? What's up for discussion? The shadow curse is upon us. As foul as I remember it. Perhaps even worse. But with the Oak Father's blessing, we may soon see it banished from these lands. It's not easy, seeing the ravages of the Shadow Curse. But your camp is a most welcome solace. You've shared your fire with me, your company. A small pocket of light against the darkness. But one I couldn't do without. Thank you. You're too modest by far. What fate would I have met without you? Rotting in the goblin cells? Dying against an onslaught on the grove? More good has been done since I met you than in a hundred years before. Words cannot express my gratitude. I'm goaded, I know. Do we just go around fucking everybody? Like, that's an option. Yes. I think you do. Forgive me. Sometimes I forget myself, gazing on the beauty of nature's creations. Mistress demanding Gale sacrifice himself to destroy the Absolute. It's just a waste of a perfectly good cult that we could be controlling. And a waste of a perfectly good Gale, I suppose. believe Mistra actually expects Gale to just sacrifice himself like that. Seems like a waste of a fine mind. Granddad. <sighs> it doesn't ring a bell. But all right. Must have had something important to say to Gail if he came all this way. Good news, I hope. <sighs> Whoa, now he's got a. 
Well, I guess that would explain a little, but... Mistra? <laughs> I mean, this is a lot to take in. What's he going to do? Tell him to pick the right one. Well, better yet, I'll do it. <sighs> Fucking wizards, man. They always need help picking the simple, obvious option. If Mistra can't think of another way to stop the Absolute from sacrificing Gale, she's no god worth worshipping. I'll say that to Gale in, you know, gentle terms. Gives me energy. Power. But you've seen it in action. Very hard to control. If I'm excited at all, angry, nervous, delighted, enticed, I burn hot. Hot enough to burn anyone who gets close. I try not to think about it. I still think about it constantly, but, you know, I try. One of these days, I'll sort the whole infernal affair out, get myself cooled off, start making up for lost time. But not today. A shame my first brush with the famed Elminster couldn't be a tad more optimistic. Listen. I might invoke the Triad from time to time, appeal to Helm, but I'm no man of faith, not like Gale. I don't know what drives a man to consider his own death among countless others to be an appropriate exchange for his goddess's forgiveness. To me, it all sounds like nonsense. The faith that matters most is that which you hold in yourself, in the ones that most matter to you. Big Bomb be damned. Gale's got everything he needs to defeat the Absolute already. Talent, nerve, and powerful allies at his side. I hope he'll come to see that. I agree. Thank you for agreeing to find Walbrin. It means a great deal to me. Indeed. Yeah, homie, no problem. I got you. Alright, we are going to end this stream right here, and we're going to pick back up in a minute. Thanks for joining us for the last bit of uh, Act 1.